Far beyond Pluto, Voyager 2 drifts through the darkness carrying Earth's message into the unknown. For nearly 50 years, it's sent back data that's changed our understanding of the solar system. But on September 11, 2025, it sent something different, a signal that challenges everything we thought we knew about the edge of our solar system. Scientists at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory noticed a strange pattern in the plasma wave and magnetic field data. Instead of a gradual transition into interstellar space, Voyager 2 had encountered a sharp, organized boundary, a wall, not a blur. This wasn't just another data point, it was a revelation. What is this structure? How did it form? Is it unique to our solar system? Voyager 2, built with 1970s technology, is now at the forefront of 21st century astrophysics. The universe, it seems, is always more complex and surprising than we expect. The journey to understand this new cosmic feature has only just begun. And with it, our place in the galaxy is once again up for debate. For, to grasp the magnitude of this discovery, we must revisit Voyager 2's epic journey. Launched in 1977, it took advantage of a rare planetary alignment, using gravity assist to visit Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Each encounter brought stunning revelations. Jupiter's volcanic moon Io, Saturn's intricate rings, Uranus's tilted magnetic field, Neptune's great dark spot. After Neptune, Voyager 2's mission shifted. Its new goal, media Voyager 2 moving past Neptune, animation showing spacecraft leaving last planet for interstellar space. Interstellar space. For decades, it measured the outer reaches of the sun's influence, waiting for the moment it would cross into the unknown. Its twin, Voyager 1, left the solar system first, but Voyager 2's instruments remained fully functional. The probe's long, lonely journey was about to yield its most astonishing discovery yet. What began as a planetary tour became a mission to the very edge of the sun's domain. Voyager 2's odyssey is a testament to human curiosity and to the surprises that await in the darkness. The real shock was still ahead, waiting beyond the planets. The sun's influence doesn't end abruptly. It extends as a vast bubble called the heliosphere, carved out by the solar wind. The edge of this bubble, the heliopause, marks where the sun's power yields to the interstellar medium. On November 5, 2018, Voyager 2 crossed this boundary. Its instruments recorded a sudden drop in solar particles and a spike in galactic cosmic rays. For the first time, we had direct measurements of both sides of the heliopause. The crossing was sharp, a clear line, not a gradual fade. The plasma outside was denser and colder than expected. The models held for a while. The heliopause was a balance point between solar and interstellar forces. The scientific community celebrated, believing the mystery was solved. But Voyager 2 kept going, sampling the new frontier. The real surprise was still lurking, just beyond the edge. The universe, as always, had more to reveal. Voyager 2's journey was far from over. Years after entering interstellar space, Voyager 2's data seemed routine. Until late 2024, the magnetometer began detecting rhythmic, patterned fluctuations, far from random noise. Diagnostics ruled out malfunction. The signal was real. The magnetic field was behaving in ways no model predicted. Plasma wave instruments confirmed it. Periodic increases in plasma density matched the magnetic oscillations. Voyager 2 was passing through invisible, structured layers just outside the heliopause. The interstellar medium was supposed to be uniform, shaped only by distant supernovae and galactic currents. Instead, Voyager 2 found a series of magnetic and plasma walls. This anomaly signaled a fundamental gap in our understanding of the Sun's galactic environment. The familiar edge of the solar system had become a landscape of hidden structure. A new cosmic mystery had emerged, billions of kilometers from home. The search for answers had only just begun. By early 2025, the mysterious structure's pattern became clear. Voyager 2 was encountering dense, magnetized plasma layers every 1.5 billion kilometers. Each layer was thin, but much denser than the surrounding space. Scientists dubbed it the heliospheric wall, a series of nested, concentric shells around our heliosphere. This wasn't a simple boundary, but a complex, multi-layered system. 
The discovery challenged everything we thought about how the sun interacts with its environment. The wall appears to be a feature of the local interstellar cloud, not something created by the sun. The scale is immense, layers separated by distances as vast as the gap from the sun to Saturn. Theorists scrambled to explain what could create such a colossal, organized structure. The interstellar medium was far more intricate than anyone imagined. With the wall's existence confirmed, scientists raced to explain its origin. One leading theory, it's a remnant of ancient supernova shockwaves, compressing plasma into layered shells. Voyager 2's data hints at heavier elements in the wall, evidence of long-dead stars. Another idea, galactic magnetic fields are draping and compressing around our heliosphere as we move through space. Either way, the wall is a record of cosmic history and galactic forces. The boundary of our solar system is not simple. It's shaped by supernovae, magnetic fields, and the sun's journey through the galaxy. Voyager 2 offers clues, but future missions will be needed to map this structure in detail. The edge of our solar system is a dynamic, multi-layered frontier. The heliospheric wall redefines what it means to be a star system. Our solar system isn't an isolated island. It's embedded in a complex, interactive zone connecting us to the galaxy. If such walls are common, other stars may also be shielded by layered shells, affecting the habitability of their planets. These structures could protect worlds from cosmic rays or, in sparse regions, expose them to more radiation. The wall also complicates how material moves between a star system and the galaxy, influencing long-term evolution. For the search for life, a star's galactic environment may be as important as its planet's orbits. The universe is more interconnected than we ever imagined. The wall is a new variable in the cosmic equation for life. The heliospheric wall redraws our map of the cosmos. Our solar system is not a lone bubble, but nested within vast, invisible shells. This new map has practical consequences. Future interstellar probes must navigate these layers. Understanding their density and magnetic fields will be crucial for exploration. The wall could be a challenge or a resource, perhaps even an interstellar highway. Studying it reveals the history of our local galactic environment, shaped by ancient supernovae. Voyager 2 is our tool for cosmic archaeology, uncovering the story of our neighborhood. The universe's complexity is revealed at every scale, from planets to galactic webs. The heliospheric wall is the latest addition to this hierarchy, a structure between star systems and nebula. It's a new piece of the puzzle, deepening our understanding of where we truly are. Voyager 2's journey is a triumph of human curiosity. Its greatest legacy may be the discovery of the heliospheric wall, a multi-layered structure enveloping our solar system. This finding shatters the old model of a smooth interstellar medium, revealing a complex historic environment. Our sun's home is not an isolated bubble, but part of a grand ancient structure shaped by supernovae and galactic forces. The wall changes how we think about habitability, cosmic evolution, and our place in the universe. Voyager 2's data, decades in the making, has opened a new chapter in astrophysics. The probe's whispers have answered some questions and raised countless more. As Voyager 2 drifts onward, it reminds us the universe is filled with wonders, waiting in the darkness. What other unseen structures and mysteries await us in the vast ocean between the stars?